This place I'm going to is St. Odeon's. It's located in Cormarket, Dublin 8. It's located between two of Ireland's treasures, smack bang in the middle of Christchurch and St. Patrick's Cathedral. So it's easily overlooked, but this is a real hidden gem. It's steeped in history and it's definitely worth a visit. The best part about having a motorbike is that you can park anywhere you bloody want to. Now, here's Grand. The Norman church was built in 1190, but it's built on an older church from the 7th century. Over time the church became smaller, just to make the upkeep more manageable, so it's small enough. There's the bell tower. It has six bells. Three of those bells date to 1423. Those bells still get rung today. I'm so impressed, this organ still gets used. It's fantastic. This is a memorial dedicated to people of importance. This place is full of these, but they naturally were destroyed due to a recipe of poor materials and time. Check out their collars on their necks. It's the height of fashion in the 1550s, the time of Queen Elizabeth I. This is a baptismal basin, it still gets used even though it's 800 years old. The shell is a scallop shell and it represents people who went on pilgrimages to Santiago de Constapela in northern Spain. So they came here first, they blessed themselves, and then they went on the journey. Here's another ruined memorial, battered with time. Here we see the date, October 1592. This is called a lucky stone and it's said to have strange properties. It's actually a Greek cross, not a Celtic cross, because Celtic cross is arms stretched beyond the circle, whereas the Greek cross is the arms stretched to the circle. And the stone is 800 years older than this church itself, and it's been stolen on a number of occasions. Here, look at this monument of the knight and his wife. The text is in Latin, but it says, Pray for the soul of Ronald Fitz Eustace of Portlester. He dedicated this chapel to the Blessed Mary, also for the soul of Margaret his wife, and for the souls of the faithfully departed. Look at his feet, there's a dog, a symbol of loyalty, not just to his wife, but to his king and to his country. And over here there's another figure, heavily in ruined, and we don't know who this is. This is the extension part of the chapel which was funded by the Fitzjuice's family. This was part of the old graveyard, but it's just used for recreational now. I hope you liked the video. That place is free, so you can literally just go in and just visit the place for free. You do free tours as well, and I cannot recommend that place enough.